got to, I've got to try the drive. <laughs> I've got to. I saw the only other day, and he said he had five lines. Put a little more dubbing. Put a bit of a tiger on the end of it, if you will. Well, I think the cantankerous back of the old guys, of course, you've got your lunch now. For me, it was just like a opening a door that had never been opened before. Mm -hmm. um, I just tried it on everything I possibly could. Just tried to see how far you could actually take this idea of putting the dubbing onto something other than the thread. Because for years, we've put dubbing onto the threads to create the bodies on flies. We've never considered putting dubbing onto chenille or onto stretchy cord or onto braided cords or even copper wire for little nymphs, you know. Um, so it just opened up so many possibilities and my mind being what it is just I went gaga for a few weeks and just tried it on everything. And, and, and the possibilities are, are still there. There's heaps and heaps more things that can be done with it, you know. some rather heavy little nymphs along the lines of a pheasant tail you can tie that with a, a red wire and then put a tan dubbing over it and, and wind it forward and then when it's wet you will get tan with a red core inside it yeah. um, or a black core inside it or whatever you want you, it, it gives you the depth that you just can't get otherwise yeah you know that as soon as I put that live onto the internet there's 20 guys out there now strapping dubbing to a red wire <laughs> yeah good on them you know and, and, and let's see what they do with it